Hello, Freddie. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good. 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 Tell me I'm wrong. I really enjoyed what you said so far. I was sleeping and I heard your voice without the radio. Tell me, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Freddie, tell me I'm wrong. Freddie, is it true All that... All of a sudden that I'm greedy? Yeah, but sure that's greedy, Freddie, because you know why? There's nothing wrong with doing the job, Freddie. Freddie, there's nothing wrong with doing the job, but don't advertise it. In Providence, Rhode Island, on a Tuesday morning for nine dollars cash, and you tell me that I'm greedy. I didn't hear. What he's saying? saying that you work for nine dollars cash in Providence, Rhode Island. First of all, I don't work for cash, Freddie. <laughs> are you accusing me of working for cash, Freddie? No. How dare you? How dare you, Mr. Cooper? How dare me? What? Tell the truth. All I have, all I, over the years, all we have been is friends. We are friends, Freddie. I'm just no, bringing no, out no. a point. How? I love the fact that you love to go on radio and and. When I love to go on radio, I didn't come on radio to talk about Freddie world. Roman. I came on radio to just to, to, to talk to Howard and to bring out a point. And I got to say something, Freddie. It's nothing wrong with you two doing 90 jobs a day. That's okay. <laughs> but to advertise and in a paper when you have another ad on the other side of the paper that you're going to be at the Raleigh and then you're going to be on Broadway, make up your mind, you know... Uh, right. Now, can I explain the Raleigh to you? Yeah, go ahead. But, Number but Freddie, one. what he's saying is, is that if someone puts up a million dollars in a show, you owe it to them only to appear on Broadway for a while so that you won't, uh, you know... However, take Howard, the producer was thrilled because the ad at the Raleigh says star of cat skills on Oh, Broadway. you're conning me. That's the biggest con job. The, uh, the, the guy put up a million dollars he's happy that you're going to be at the Raleigh as the star? Because what about the other three people? Cat. Aren't they the star? Cat. What about, hold on a minute. What about the other three people? Aren't they the star? Or oh, you are now the only star there? Come on, Fred. You're talking to Cooper. Cooper knows because Cooper Cat. understands Cat. about feeling. Feeling Cat. for your fellow entertainer. You don't know feeling. Nothing, Pat. All you know is how to yell and intimidate people. So right. shut up. Well, let Freddie say something. Okay. I would That's not you. fair to Freddie. You're absolutely right. All right, come on. Let's be fair. <laughs> the Freddie, producer, go ahead. The producer of the show, Ken Greenblatt, I went to before when the Raleigh approached me, and he said, Great, it'll be another ad in the paper with our name Catskills on Broadway. No, I am not the only star. We are all four equally billed. We are all four having a wonderful time making people laugh. And be honest with you, Pat, the Raleigh offered me an awful lot of money. They are taking me in a limo. They are bringing me back in a limo. I am having a wonderful time, Pat. I see no reason why you should get cranky, because I'm finally making a wonderful living. I'm not this. cranky about your living, Freddie. See, you're trying to ma maneuver me what I'm saying. I'm only saying one thing. You're obligated, number one, to the Broadway show. And you're I'm obligated to the three people on knowledge. that show. Don't con me. Don't con me. I'm too smart for you, Freddie. I've been around too long, and I'm talking about giving something back, Freddie. Give me something back. You can't, you can't shoot the cow, milk it to a little point, and Excuse then give somebody me. else a glass of milk. You oh, talk? bull. You hey, hey Freddie, I'm telling you like a friend. You want to talk about giving back? Yeah, go ahead. There is nobody in this business that does more benefits for more We're not charity. talking about benefits, Freddie. We're talking about being on Broadway and not killing the other three people that you're working with. Their $45 is yours, too. That goes in the toilet, too. You're dragging that $45 in the toilet. This is promotion. It's ah, really promotion great. my foot. Promotion is television with the other three people. Your opinion, your opinion is to scream. I'm entitled to my opinion, Freddie. Your opinion is to scream. Let me tell you something. Hold on a minute, Freddie. I'm telling you what people are saying, but they're not saying it to you. They're not saying it to you. I say it to Freddie Roman's face. Your opinion is to scream at people and not listen to what you know why I'm screaming, Freddie. You know why I'm screaming. I would love to come on with you one day when you and I could talk. You want to know something, Freddie? You know what Pat's saying? You know what Pat's saying? I understand what he's saying. He's saying that, um... I forgot what you're saying. Howard, <laughs> no, I mean, I hate to see two friends, but he's his, a, his opinion. I'm not angry at this man and hateful toward him. Right. I'm trying to bring out a point. No one's got the balls to stand up and say, hey, you know something? I think this is out of order about our business. No, Pat thinks that the audience would appreciate a pr promotion, like if you went on TV, all of you, and you We're went to promote that. the show. We did the whole Clint Holmes show Monday night. See, they we did are Clint on Holmes radio. Show. We're not saying, I'm radio. not saying. I, but however, Freddie's I, not right however, now. He wants to make some money. Howard. Maybe Howard, that's it. Maybe he's stop, got some bills hey, to pay. Howard, when they see me at the Raleigh Hotel, they are seeing Freddie Roman. They are not seeing Catskills on Broadway. <laughs> Catskills on Broadway is four performers. Who do well, what about that, Pat? And then we do, and then we do a closing number together. Pat, when say, these Pat. people are at the Raleigh Hotel, they will see Freddie Roman. Freddie do a saying, time. now what if I want to go see the show? All right, now I say, well, I was up in Raleigh. I saw Freddie Roman up in the Raleigh, and I got tickets to go downtown. And I got to sit with Freddie Roman again. Yeah, now, how about Pat if they say, boy, we really enjoyed Freddie Roman. Let's go see him in Catskills. Yeah, but, 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 but why should it they see the movie? Why should they see the movie twice? 
It's not the same movie. It is the same oh, movie. Oh, by no means is oh, it the same I movie. Think so. I you mean the, the, the Freddie Roman show? And the... I do 25 minutes in Catskills on Broadway. At the Raleigh, I do an hour. Uh -huh. The See? other three acts yeah, do but, their but, acts on Catskills the on Broadway. Act. He could do the 20, 25 Let me add this in the back. If you were on Broadway right yeah. now, and someone came to you and said, play the Raleigh, yeah. you would say no? No, I would say, I'll play the Raleigh, but don't advertise me. Ah, uh, so you're a whore. I said, don't advertise No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I didn't say, did I say earlier? I'm not angry that the man's making the dollars at the Raleigh. I'm not angry at the Raleigh. I said not to put the ad in the paper opposite the ad of the Catskill Mountains. That's what I'm saying. However, I'm not mad that the guy's making money and making $90 the, million. Dollars and wait a minute. And doing a breakfast or doing a lunch or doing a dinner. That's okay. Make $9 million. I'm not against that. But don't put an ad in the paper contradicting right. the other ad. Don't call me a whore, Freddie, because Cooper's not a whore. Cooper's a man. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the ad says star in Catskill's a robbing my producer, Ken Greenblatt, who you can call now, you know what else is bugging Pat? You didn't invite him to opening night. But Tell then there was an no, overshow. No, no. What? Forget Tell me, I know that's what's bugging him. No, that's and not. I, I, I spoke to him twice last week with abject apologies yeah, okay. from I all accept, four yeah. of us that were all I very upset that we, in the excitement of opening, we neglected to invite him. And if this is his way of getting even, God bless I'm not getting even I with you. Pat Cooper, I'm and getting I even. I'm not getting even, anymore. Freddie. He'll well, I think I think I think in order to make pasta for me. I think they both. I think you both agree that this is a, a debate on your profession, not on right. your personalities. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nobody this is a debate on funny. the radio. Hey, I was the first one on the radio when they went to the Westbury. I plugged it up. I plugged it because I wanted to plug it because it means work for but Pat, people. if the producer has no problem oh. with Freddie playing. All right. I, hey, look, the producer oh. has no problem. Freddie has no problem. I brought it up because I happen to think it's wrong. That's my opinion. You want to get angry at me because I, 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 but I said it. And I'm going to tell you something. I go to the fries, I go down the street. Everybody calls me or talks about it, says the same thing. But nobody got the balls to say it. I mean, a lot of people Freddie have Roman. mentioned this to you yeah, at the they saying, I can't believe this. Howard, yeah. I have a strange feeling this could not be the subject of the day with everybody in the world. No, well, no I knows. didn't say the subject of the day. But it a couple up. of our friends, Freddie, you know, said, gee, I can't believe this. I mean, how, how does it look? I said, well, hey, you know, what are you going to do? It's wrong to put an ad in the I said, a man's got to work. He's got a right to make $9,000 a minute. Well, what gets me crazy? Before I took the job, the producer of our show, Ken Greenblatt. Okay, well, then it's okay. All, then, right. All right, look, you guys. They put in cats, my opinion is you don't put two ads in the same paper to do different places. Excuse me for breathing. Howard. All right. Okay. All right, very Thank good. Very Howard, good. Yes, yes, for, Freddie. For the first time ever on your show, and yes. I would love to come back anytime you yes. would like me. Thank you. I really had a very, my heart is so started now this morning. You right. have no idea. It's healthy. Oh. All right, listen, you two are very successful, the both of you. That's it. All right, you have a little debate going. That's all. Thank you, Howard. I want, do me a favor, have a tape recorder with you when you guys meet up at the Friars. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, and, this and, would have been a good people's court. Now, you know what? I, can I get you two guys on TV and do a people's court? You I'd love it. You wouldn't mind judge. that? I would love determine it. Determine who's right. Ooh, Pat, you up for that? Anytime. I would love it. I would love it. anything. Never. 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 You know what? Freddie, would fun? you come on my TV show and do People's Court? Sure, Howard. You know why it'd be fun? Because I can yell as loud as he can. Beautiful. Well, when I yell, Freddie, I say things, Freddie. <laughs> Don't just say I'm a yeller, Freddie. <laughs> Don't bust my cucumbers, Freddie. <laughs> Cup Cooper says things that you ain't got the balls to say. So don't tell me about Cooper. I may yell because that's my delivery. Forgive One me for yelling. About Pat. But I say things, One thing it. about Pat, there's a lot of phonies in this business who, not, who would have not Damn brought right. this up. I say things with my yelling. Yeah, that's happens to be my you, delivery. You certainly do. You went on national television and destroyed the entire city of Las Vegas. Yeah. And it has... I mean, it's wonderful. Uh, it's, Freddie, 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 is that my... Is, is that my business? You're the only man is that my business, Freddie? That Hold on. Is that my business years. to do what I, what, I, what I feel is right? Is no, it my business I, to I do... I always respected you for saying what All right, so what's the difference? The but when I yell, I say things, man. I don't just yell, blah, 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 blah. I go there and I say, hey, you, you're you out of order. I don't care if it costs me a $90 million, Freddie. Money means garbage okay. to me. So Money means garbage well, to me. Integrity, 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 integrity. If you're a man, Pat, and you wanted to get this thing straightened out. I don't want to straighten out. Now, we happen to be discussing on the show. If this is what you call discussion. That's what I mean. You don't let anyone else talk. Why I made you talk, Freddie. You didn't say nothing yet. Why didn't you call me and say, Freddie, that ad in the paper, you shouldn't let them do that. And I would have said to you, the producer said it's fine. No, was it he wasn't, he wasn't was going to say anything. I just asked him about uh, the Broadway show, and then all of a sudden he... We uh, were going to go off the air 30 minutes ago. That's right. We were supposed to be yeah, off the air. Yeah, I was just to ask me my honest opinion, and when you ask my honest opinion, I laid it down. I've never seen I don't have any animosity. I don't hate your guts or anything One thing like about that. show business, I see, and I do go to Hollywood, and when I, even in New York here, the limited access I have to show business, <laughs> I must tell you, I see a lot of people lying to one another. Another. Right. I think it's healthy for two guys to sit and discuss without, the business. Howard, without a question. And, and by the way, Freddie, I think I think you have a neck. <laughs>
Pat Cooper said you didn't. You called him no neck. I say he has a neck. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a running right. gag. That's a running gag. That's, that's, a running not, that's, that's, that's right. just a running gag. That's that's a, all right. But let me tell you thing. something. But Howard, let's be honest. If the show wasn't a hit, which it is, right. then nobody would care. Right. The show's a hit, so now we became a, a topic of conversation, that's which I love. Listen, uh, congratulations to you and all your success. I thank you. I will see you on television with me and I Pat Cooper. I, I will be, be in my judge's robes. Robin, you will be I'll Rusty. I'll be the bailiff. You're Rusty the bailiff. And, sweetheart, when you get back there with me, there's going to be no underpants under my robe. <laughs> so prepare your case. Bring documentation. Bring the ad, Pat. Bring whatever you want to submit as in, in court, what you want to submit, and then I will decide. And I will be delighted to be there. And I will make a decision and solve this for you. Am I the plaintiff or the defendant? Have you nailed Marilyn Michaels yet? Oh. No, no, Howard, I haven't. <laughs> well, you're the uh, defendant because uh, okay. yeah, Pat Pat's is the complaining. Plaintiff. Pat's the plaintiff. And as far as nailing Marilyn Michaels, I haven't because my wife comes to every show and her husband. Very good. All right, so. Freddie. God bless you. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Freddie <laughs> Roman, everyone. Oh, well, Pat, you know what? I'm going to say this about you. And I've said it to your oh, face, dear. and I'm going to say it to you right now. The reason I admire you... And the reason I always look forward to every one of your appearances, <laughs> because you're an honest man. There is so much phoniness. There is so much phony back uh, slapping, and then behind uh, closed doors, backstabbing. You, know, you are a man who says what's on your mind. I admire that. And, you never and have to guess what he's thinking. There is n Listen, I'm the same way. You know I come on this show, I let you know what's going on. Sometimes it's painful. You know, success is You're wonderful. You're an honest... Nobody's let me finish what I'm saying. Let me, let me, let me Don't play Don't get you. yourself revved up again, Pat. Yeah, we gotta yeah, yeah. go. You are an honest... <laughs> you are an honest man. A berserk honest man. But yet, you are an honest man. So... <laughs> let me say something. I admire that. I'm gonna give you a round of applause right now. All right. All right. All right. You okay now? See, I gotta be careful. If I talk soft, nobody believes me. Right. <laughs> you said the right thing, and it'll be solved on the Something people's personal court. to him. I don't dislike him. He knows that. It just bothers me. These we'll things, take care of these it. These little stupid little In things course. that bother me. That a man, a man should say, "Wait a minute." Even if the producer said, "Go ahead and do it," I'd say, "No, wait a minute. I ain't gonna do it." I'm not I'll gonna screw it. this guy over. Make sure that right. there's no way in the paper to the rolling. Wait a minute. You're swaying the judge, and right. Freddie's sure, not here. But when he said to me, "I work for nine dollars cash in, in Providence," that hurt. Man, no, that didn't hurt. It's stupid. I never worked for $9 cash, and I don't work for cash. I pay. I pay, Freddie. Don't mention cash. Don't be an ass. <laughs> that hurt. Right. No, because that's stupid to say. I, work. I never work for cash. I get my checks. I pay my taxes. The man's implying I work for cash. This is where you go show you how dangerous he is because he's so hopped up that he don't know what the hell he can say to me because he can't win with me. I knew that hurt you. I saw your face You're change. damn right it hurt I me. I saw it hurt Cash you. what? What? Is that what he does? <laughs> Cooper don't do that. Cooper plays the game straight, and I he knows it. I know and I'm what sure he plays the game straight. When someone insults nine dollars in Providence, what? Well, let me tell you something. When I was around, this guy wasn't even wasn't even in my, my my business. And this is one of the luckiest guys in the world. He's a talented guy, but this guy is a mover. Cooper don't move. Cooper takes it the way it is. I could have kissed ass from here to Chicago and been on the biggest things in this country. I refuse to prostitute myself or the dignity of my profession. And all the people that you know, Howard, that know me, will tell you about Pat Cooper. He don't take advantage. He gives money back when things are bad. I he helps that. people. I Let Freddie that. ask the last time he gave anything back to anybody. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you something. Never. <laughs> never. He worked 52 weeks at the, at the castle. And he had a couple of more weeks on a contract. He held him to the contract. And right. he had to work the Viva room upstairs. You know what I said? I got 52 weeks off you. You owe me nothing. Goodbye. Right. right. No. But you know what I Milk. Keep pounding. Hit the car. Where my mom milk? That's what I'm saying. Huh. And by him what? doing that, the right. producer, I, I would have said to the producer, I, I wouldn't ask the producer. I would have done dignity and said, I'm not having no ad at the Raleigh. Call the Raleigh up. Listen. I'm, right. you, well, no, you know, you, you hear what he said? They're picking me up in a limousine, and they take it. That's where his show is at Brent. I have limousines every day if I wanted. I turn down limousines because they're not that you important. You don't want to call people money. Because that's, it, right. that's right. Give me more. Give me the limousine. Give me the, the, the big sweets. That's why a lot of these guys today ain't going to get jobs because you know why? They killed the goose that lays the golden egg, and there's no more golden eggs. People are out of work, Freddie. Thank God. Get on your knees. There are plenty of people than you and me in this business can't get a job. All right. That's all. All right. Well, that'll be settled in the people's court. That's all. I'm exhausted. And he, he can't beat me. There ain't no way. And his best day. You don't work for cash. I happen to know that about you. No, but I'm saying you mentioned cash. You mentioned money. I might mention your money. Like, I, I didn't want even to make a million dollars. That. that means your man is trying to milk it and, and avoid and his taxes. And avoid a tax. When you huh? receive cash. I didn't even know he 
Oh, you didn't sell I it. have worked clubs, and when people offer me cash tip on the side, I yeah. say, no, 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 I will declare this no, money. No, give me the uh-huh. check. I sign the, the check, check, and then I'll cash it. the check. That's the a very big insult to give a man what, like Paco Pedetti. What, 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 what's his brains? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where's your brains, Very Freddy? big insult. He cannot beat me on his best day. He can bring in Ralph Alvin. Who? Ralph Alvin? What is that lawyer's name? <laughs> Ralph Alvin? It's your Ralph Felder, sir, uh-huh. Freddy. I beat you my tongue tight. All right, Ralph there Elvin. you go. All right, now, I'm angry. <laughs> now I'm angry. Now you're mad. I know he it. He thinks he thinks because I yell that I'm angry. I yell and make people laugh, and I yell because I got a good heart. I'm a giver, 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 giver. <laughs> Remember, buddy, limousines ain't gonna make you a star. Bringing people and putting asses on the seat, and I challenge you right now go with ahead. your big hit show, Freddy. Yeah, go ahead. You go work in that house. How many people are gonna break the doors down to say I want Freddy Rum because he's a big draw? You can work the cat's on umbrella for nine years. I'll draw you in your house, in your house, Freddy. Now you got me pissed. Oh my God. What do you think you're playing with a kid here? I'll cash you. I'll cash you. I'll block your stamp out, baby. How dare you? You gotta use your brains. Oh Freddy, you, oh, I thought Freddie was back. <laughs> yes. Oh. I know. I know. It hurts. Hey, it listen, hurts because nobody truth, listen to me. I'll right. give you and I'll take it. You can punch me around. If I think I deserve the beat, I'll take it. Right. Punch me. Go. I won't hit back. I understand. But when I'm right, I'll climb mountains. Hold on a second. You ain't hey, got a hey, chance. Freddie Roman? No, no. It's the producer of the show. Uh. Uh. Freddie feels Pat, uh, Freddie was portrayed in a bad light. Uh. Oh, what a bad light. <laughs> now, you are the producer of the show? Hello. Yes. You yeah, are, yeah, yes you're, you're on the air. You're Mr. Greenblatt? Yes. Mr. How Green, are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? Hi, Pat. Now, what is the what is the problem with you? They ain't got no problem. No I'm problem. bringing this up. Don't blame him. I'm okay. bringing it up. Right, I just want you to understand that Freddie came to me. The reason we did this is because we felt to be publicity for the show. Freddie is not doing the same act that he's doing on on the cat skills, and it's only one of the four performers. We did this because we felt it would be good publicity for the show. We had no idea where the ad for the Raleigh would fall. We didn't. Well, that's true. Placement for an ad is not. Up I mean, that is the, like. Uh, I'm sorry, hey, but I, excuse me, producer. Excuse me one second. What I'm trying to say here, morally, morally, I don't went out of my way to make sure that there's no ad. It's wrong because I'm Pat, paying we have no say on where the ad goes. I mean, how oh, oh yes, that? yes, yeah. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm working the Raleigh. Do you see an ad in the paper? Maybe they didn't want to advertise. No, 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 no. I could be advertised every day. I don't care if they advertise me because I'm working. You know why? I'm working the Kutchers. I'm working the Raleigh, and I'm working the Granite. I don't expect them all to but put it in the working paper. Broadway. Huh? You're not working Broadway. That was my choice. No, he sir. could have been in the show. No, sir, it's not your choice. It wasn't your choice. It was my choice. No, it wasn't your choice because I was offered it and I turned Pat, around. you weren't offered it. I am the producer. I'm well, what was I doing? Why was I doing the show? Because we didn't want you on the show. Hey, hey, listen. Listen to me. What was I doing on that show? We tested an audience you with five it? comedians. After you seeing the five it? comedians, we said Pat Cooper doesn't belong. I didn't belong. You're right. I agree with you. Okay, so don't say it was your choice. It was, it my, was choice. my choice because Freddie Roman, and don't, and don't let him deny it, said to me, you know, we'd like you to be in the show. No, and sir. I said, I can't. That's just not true. Well, then why did he tell me then? Pat Cooper, we can't. Well, we why didn't you tell me? I could have handled it. We had a test, and we saw the audience reaction. The audience reaction to the other four was unbelievable. Really? They didn't react to you, Pat. That's really? why you weren't on the what show. show. Hold on. What show were you watching? I was watching the show you were on. Uh, then, I've, never then you're out of order. I've never seen people not oh, react to Pat. Out of order. This particular oh, night, after the four no, of them went on, that, yeah. the audience just was worn out from what they saw there, and Pat just didn't fit into that group. I think Pat, Pat's brilliant, yeah. but not for our show. Okay, but I agree with you. I'm not against that. But I mean to say, if you all you had to do was tell me after the beginning, I would have never done anything. I would have said, yeah, I didn't know that from the beginning. That's why we did an audience test. But, but, you're what? saying you tested me. No, no, hold, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. You tested me without you, my permission? You were there, Pat. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Let's get back to Freddie Roman. Well, I didn't talk to you. Freddie Roman's been hold doing it. Producer, the, show. the audience, producer, the audience has been going crazy me, for the show. Excuse me, producer. I'm not, look, I'm not knocking Ken, the show. Thank you. Kenny, I'm not knocking the show. I'm the biggest booster of it. Please listen to me. Let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. I didn't talk to you. I spoke to you. Oh, I, I mean, you I only my time I saw you. I, mean, I never heard anybody t- speak louder. I mean, I mean, I never saw you in person that, that you know before I went on that. Day. Right. I was talking to Freddie. Freddie's Correct. the one that said to me, "Pat, this, this, this." I said, "Well, okay. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I don't think it's for me. I didn't think it's for me. I didn't think it's for me." He said, "Would you do at least the uh, the run through or whatever they call that?" I said, "Fine." Now, if you were to come back say, "Sir Pat, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, we 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 don't want you in the show because it does," I would say, "Wait a minute." You were gone in two seconds after the show. I would say, wait a minute. I, 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 it's not for me because I don't feel comfortable in it. Correct. It wasn't a question that I, I, I'm angry that you said you didn't want me in the show. That's fine. That's okay. I can buy that. That's had rejection before. No, no, no it wasn't no a rejection. I would consider that rejection either. No, I don't believe, I agree with you. I absolutely agree. And I with agreed you. with us then, and you were really nice about it. But I said, but, but I was never talking. I was talking, Freddie, 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 Freddie. Freddie kept talking to me. Freddie, Freddie kept talking to me. I thought Freddie was more or less. I said, oh, I guess it's Freddie's show. I don't know. I said, Freddie, Freddie I got the show. Freddie's been brilliant. The four people that we picked. We're, uh, not, we're not debating no about their debating brilli
Huh? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know about Pat. Not really. Listen, I, I'm not here to make enemies. I'm just here. This aggravates me. It aggravates me. And I see you know, him. Hey, I know what's going on in my business. And All right, I Pat, hear uh, Pat is worried you try about to the business. Say, you try to say something. All we want to do is promote his business and our business. And we want the audience reaction to this show. Have been, they've been leaping to their feet, screaming. Everybody's having a great time. I agree with you because they're four funny people. They're I'm not hysterical. arguing with that. The show's been getting, it got great reviews. It got and we're dynamite. having a ball with it. Oh. We didn't want to offend anybody. And All right, Pat was looking out for you. He wants to see that you get the maximum dollar. Well, we did. The other acts are appearing elsewhere, then people aren't going to come into the theater. That's all he said. Well, except that they're not seeing the same show. Freddie's doing a, a, his own show yeah, and nothing upset. to do with our show. Pat got upset. And all of this is publicity for our show. Now, Pat got upset, no, too. Also, you know, he was told that he works for cash. You understand that. But that was the, I don't think Freddie meant that. He was right. kidding. I think he was kidding around. Kidding right. around all with right. Pat. He's a good right. friend of Pat. Right. And we're all good friends with Pat. All right. Everybody okay. calm down now. Okay. Can hey, we Howard? end this show? It's almost our vacation's almost yeah, over. Yeah, I got to go here. Right. Listen, thanks a lot. I look forward to seeing you at the theater. Absolutely, I'm coming down there. Look forward to it. All right, very Thanks. good. Bye-bye. I'll go down there when Pat's in the show. Uh, All right, thank you. Now. No, no, I only dealt with Freddie. I didn't deal with He wants you to replace Dick Capri, I'm sure. No. That's what the purpose Dick, of that Dick call is. They're all funny. Hey, all right, right all right. Take it easy. Listen, you had a rough day here. I have a rough you day. always have a rough day here. Holy All right, Pat. I don't know. Has he got to work Party's tonight? Over. Pat is working tonight. He'll be over Whoa. at the uh, Villa Manor in the Bronx tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. You're not, you're not working tonight, are you? Oh, okay, you can good. rest. I'm having my nervous breakdown. <laughs> Sunday night will be at the Eastside Comedy Club in Massapequa, Long Island. You want to see a guy who's funny. Oh, my goodness. Never mind three other comics. On his own. He's four comics in one. <laughs> Friday, December 20th, he'll be at the Paramount Theater in Middletown, New York. <laughs> All right? All right, Pat Cooper, everyone, and thank you, Freddie Roman and uh, Greenblatt. All right, very good. Okay. The producer. There we go. I think... Mr. Appreciation Thursday.